Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Beyond Birth and Death, Chapter 5 Associating with Krishna If one gets something superior, he naturally gives up all inferior things. We want enjoyment, but impersonalism and voidism have created such an atmosphere that we have become addicted to material enjoyment. There must be enjoyment in connection with the Supreme Person, Purusha Sarpara whom we can see face to face. In the spiritual sky, we are able to speak personally with God, play with Him, eat with Him, etc. All of this can be attained by bhaktya, transcendental loving service. However, this service must be without adulteration. That is to say, we must love God without expecting material remuneration. Loving God to become one with him is also a form of adulteration. One of the major differences between the spiritual sky and the material sky is that in the spiritual sky, the head or leader of the spiritual planets has no rival. In all cases, the predominating personality in the spiritual planets is a plenary expansion of Sri Krishna. The Supreme Lord and His multifarious manifestations preside over all the Vaikuntha planets. On earth, for instance, there is rivalry for the position of President or Prime Minister. But in the spiritual sky, everyone acknowledges the Supreme Personality of Godhead to be supreme. Those who do not acknowledge Him and attempt to rival Him are placed into the material universe which is just like a prison house. As in any city there is a prison and the prison forms a very insignificant part of the whole city. So the material universe is a prison for the conditioned souls. It forms an insignificant part of the spiritual sky but it is not outside the spiritual sky just as a prison is not outside of the city. The inhabitants of the Vaikuntha planets in the spiritual sky are all liberated souls. In Srimad Bhagavatam, we are informed that their bodily features are exactly like gods. On some of these planets, God is manifested with two arms and on others, He has four. The inhabitants of these planets, like the Supreme Lord, also manifest two and four arms and it is said that one cannot distinguish between them and the Supreme Person. In the spiritual world, there are five kinds of liberation. Sayujya Mukti is a form of liberation in which one merges into the impersonal existence of the Supreme Lord called Brahman. Another form of liberation is Sarupya Mukti by which one receives features exactly like God's. Another is Salokya Mukti, by which one can live in the same planet with God. By Sashti Mukti, one can have opulences similar to the Supreme Lord's. Another type enables one to remain always with God as one of his associates, just like Arjuna who is always with Krishna as his friend. One can have any of these five forms of liberation, but of the five, the Sayujya Mukti, merging with the impersonal aspect, is not accepted by Vaishnava devotees. A Vaishnava wishes to worship God as He is and retain His separate individuality to serve Him, whereas 
the mayavadi impersonal philosopher wishes to lose his individuality and merge into the existence of the supreme this merging is recommended neither by shri krishna in bhagavad gita nor by the disciplic succession of vaishnava philosophers lord chaitanya mahaprabhu wrote on this subject in his shikshashtaka 4 न धन न जनम न सुंदरी कविता वा जगदीश काम मम जन्मनी जन्मनीश्वरे भवता भक्तिरहेतुकी ई ओ ऑल माइटी लॉर्ड आई हैव नो डिजायर टू एक्यूमुलेट वेल्थ नॉर हैव आई एनी डिजायर टू एन्जॉय ब्यूटिफुल वुमेन नॉर डू आई वॉन्ट एनी नंबर ऑफ फॉलोअर्स what i want only is that i may have your causeless devotional service in my life birth after birth here lord chaitanya mahaprabhu refers to birth after birth when there is birth after birth there is no liberation in liberation one either attains the spiritual planets or merges into the existence of the supreme in either case there is no question of rebirth into the material world but chaitanya mahaprabhu doesn't care whether he is liberated or not his only concern is to be engaged in krishna consciousness to serve the supreme lord the devotee doesn't care where he is nor does he care whether he is born in the animal society human society demigod society or whatever he only prays to god that he not forget him and that he always be able to engage in his transcendental service these are symptoms of pure devotion of course a devotee wherever he is remains in the spiritual kingdom even while in this material body but he does not demand anything from god for his own personal elevation or comfort although shri krishna indicates that he can be easily reached by one who is devoted to him there is an element of risk involved for the yogis who practice other methods of yoga for them he has given directions in the bhagavad gita 8.23 regarding the proper time to leave the gross body ये तवृत्ति आवृत्ति चोगिना प्रयाता तम काल वक्ष्या भरत ऋषभा ओ बेस्ट ऑफ द भारतास आई शैल नाउ एक्सप्लेन टू यू द डिफरेंट टाइम्स एट विच पासिंग अवे फ्रॉम दिस वर्ल्ड वन डज और डज नॉट कम बैक हियर Krishna indicates that if one is able to leave his body at a particular time he can become liberated never to return to the material world on the other hand he indicates that if one dies at another time he has to return there is this element of chance but there is no question of chance for a devotee always in krishna consciousness for he is guaranteed entrance into the abode of krishna by dint of his devotion to the lord agnir jyotirah shukla sanmasa uttarayanam tatra prayata gachanti brahma brahma vidojana those who know the supreme brahman pass away from the world during the influence of the fiery god in the light at an auspicious moment during the fortnight of the moon and the 6 months when the sun travels in the north geeta 8.24 the sun spends 6 months on the northern side of the equator and 6 months on the southern side in shrimad bhagavatam we have information that as the planets are moving so also the sun is moving if one dies when the sun is situated in the northern hemisphere he attains liberation dhumo ratris tatha krishna shanmasa dakshinayanam tatra chandramasam jyotir yogi prapya nivartate 
ಶುಕ್ಲಕೃಷ್ಣೆ ಗತಿ ಹೇತೆ ಜಗತ ಶಾಶ್ವತೆ ಮತೆ ಏಕಯಾತ್ಯನಾವೃತ್ತಿ ಅನ್ಯಯ ವರ್ತತೆ ಪುನ ದ ಮಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಹೂ ಪಾಸಸ್ ಅವೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಮೋಕ್ ದ ನೈಟ್ ದ ಮೂನ್ಲೆಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟ್ ನೈಟ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಪಾಸಸ್ ಟು ದ ಸೌತ್ ಆರ್ ಹೂ ರೀಚಸ್ ದ ಮೂನ್ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ವೇದಾಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ವೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ನೆಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಹಿ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಬಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಹಿ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ಸ್ ಗೀತಾ ಏಟ್ ಆರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಬೈ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ನೋ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡೈ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಮೇ ಡೈ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟಲಿ ಎಟ್ ಎನಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಬಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯೋಗಿ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಶ್ಯೋರ್ ನೈತೆ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಪಾರ್ಥ ಜಾನನ್ ಯೋಗಿ ಮುಹ್ಯತಿ ಕಶ್ಚನ ತಸ್ಮತ್ ಸರ್ವೇಶು ಕಾಲೇಶು ಯೋಗಯುಕ್ತೋ ಭವಾರ್ಜುನ ದ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಹೂ ನೋ ದೀಸ್ ಟೂ ಪಾತ್ಸ್ ಓ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಆರ್ ನೆವರ್ ಪೆಬಿಲ್ಡರ್ಡ್ ದೇ ಫೋ ಬಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಗೀತಾ ಏಟ್ ಆರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಬೀನ್ ಎಸರ್ಟೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೆತ್ ಇಫ್ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಡ್ ಟು ದ ಅಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅಂತಕಾಲೇ ಚ ಮಾಮೇವ ಸ್ಮರಣ್ ಮುಕ್ತ ಕಲೇವರಂ ಯ ಪ್ರಯಾತಿ ಸಮದ್ಭಾವ ಯಾತಿ ನಾಸ್ತ್ಯತ್ರ ಸಂಶಯ ಅಭ್ಯಾಸಯೋಗಯುಕ್ತೇನ ಚೇತಸ ನಾನ್ಯಗಾಮಿ ಪರಮಂ ಪುರುಷಂ ದಿವ್ಯಂ ಯಾತಿ ಪಾರ್ಥಾನು ಚಿಂತಯನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೂ ಎವ ಎಟ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೆತ್ ವಿಟ್ಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ರಿಮೆಂಬರಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಅಲೋನ್ ಎಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಟೇನ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಡೌಟ್ ಹೀ ಹೂ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ನಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಎಂಗೇಜ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಅನ್ಡಿವಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಪಾತ್ ಹಿ ಓ ಪಾರ್ಥ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಇಸ್ ಶ್ಯೋರ್ ಟು ರೀಚ್ ಮೀ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ಏಟ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಏಟ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಸಚ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಆನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮೇ ಸೀಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಸಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಬೈ ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮಹಾಮಂತ್ರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಹಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ಲಿ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ನೇಮ್ ಆರ್ ನಾನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಡೆಂಟಲ್ ಅಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನಾನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಬೈ ಸೌಂಡ್ ವೈಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಚಾಂಟ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸೀ ದಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಲುಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೀ ದ ಮೂನ್ ಓವರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ವಿ ಪರ್ಸೀವ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣಸ್ ಇನ್ಫೀರಿಯರ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಮೇ ಅಪಿಯರ್ ಟು ಗೋ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಟು ಬಿ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಸ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಅಸ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈ ಟು ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಇಫ್ ಹವ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಮರ್ಜ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಥಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಶ್ಯೋರ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಪ್ರೇಸ್
Merely by chanting, we can have all the advantages of personal association with Krishna. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is not only considered to be a realized soul, but an incarnation of Krishna himself, has pointed out that in the age of Kali, although men have no real facilities for self-realization, Krishna is so kind that he has given this Shabda, sound incarnation, to be utilized as the Yuga Dharma or way of realization of this age. No special qualification is necessary for this method. We need not even know Sanskrit. The vibrations of Hare Krishna are so potent that anyone can immediately begin chanting them without any knowledge of Sanskrit whatsoever. Vedeshu yakkeshu tapasu chaiva Dhaneshu yat punya phalam pratishtam Atyeti tat sarvam idam viditva Yogi param sthanam upaiti chadyam A person who accepts the path of devotional service is not bereft of the results derived from studying the Vedas, performing austere sacrifices, giving charity or pursuing philosophical and fruitive activities. At the end, he reaches the supreme abode, Gita 8.28. Here Krishna says that the purpose of all Vedic instructions is to achieve the ultimate goal of life, to go back to Godhead. All scriptures from all countries aim at this goal. This has also been the message of all religious reformers or acharyas. In the West, for example, Lord Jesus Christ spread this same message. Similarly, Lord Buddha and Muhammad, no one advises us to make our permanent settlement here in this material world. There may be small differences according to country, time and circumstance and according to scriptural injunction. But the main principle that we are not meant for this material world but for the spiritual world is accepted by all genuine transcendentalists. All indications for the satisfaction of our soul's innermost desires point to those worlds of Krishna beyond birth and death. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Krishna.